Well, hello, Mavericks. It's Joe. It's December 21st. It's a Thursday. Nice to see you again. I did this a couple of days ago, and I'm happy to do it again. So let's jump into the markets to talk about what happened today. I've got my two cents. I've got some trades to talk about to share with the community, take responsibility for all of the outcome that you guys get. Make sure you follow your trading plan. But first, let's talk about our trading collective. Immerse yourself in the excitement of real-time trading with the Maverick Trading Collective. We believe that the best way to learn is by doing, which is why you'll have the unique opportunity to observe seasoned traders making live decisions in the markets. Through live trading sessions, you'll gain invaluable insights into their thought processes and strategies. We will make the trades Monday morning when the markets open and manage the trades every Friday before expiration, keeping a rolling portfolio of trades each week. Everything will be done in real time, with a real account, with real capital, with real time tracking. The Trade Collective starts January 2nd, and we will send more information for you to join a one-month trial. The Trade Collective is not just about learning. It's about experiencing trading as it happens in real time. The Trading Collective is going to be a series of videos each week, a Saturday video that comes out with the trades that we're looking at and how we found those trades. Monday, we'll be placing the trades live. Friday, we are going to be adjusting or closing trades from previous weeks, and this rolls from week to week to week. It's going to be super immersive, super hands-on it's going to be great i'm excited for it so jump onto that class on the second 9 p.m eastern time for exposure of how this works and a lot more detail all right let's get into our market analysis and guess what folks we had a day that was up considering that we had a pretty good search to the downside yesterday i saw a pretty good sell-off could just be around a profit taking or cash coming out but guess what the markets are not bearish they did not fall apart uh, we'll talk about that candle here in a second. So let's, or the candlestick pattern in a second. Let's get to our daily news. The market shows signs of possible plateau over the last two sessions. It's not a bearish signal at all, folks. Keep that in mind. We haven't broken any sort of support. Uh, honestly, folks, we haven't even retraced to our rising 20 day moving average. So, regardless of how ominous yesterday felt, it was short lived and has not done anything to make us think that anything is super bearish. So it is a little bit more of a hesitation. I'll talk to you about a plateau here. I'll draw some lines. With only a few days left until the end of the year, we should expect small move higher or sideways. I don't think anything's going to go outside of that. I've got a lot of traders that are wondering, well, what's going to run into the close? And it really is throwing darts. There will be random stocks that will move very, very high, very, very strong for I don't know what reason. To try to find those is a waste of our time. I want you to focus more on what you've got left in your portfolio and how to manage what's left and what you should be doing as you go into the end of year and get ready for next year. So how do we finish overall? Looks like the Dow, the S&P, the Qs, everything's up pretty good. Qs up one and a quarter, S&P up uh, one, and the Dow just shy of 1%. Oil and gold pretty much flat, just kind of meandering around a little higher, a little lower. Not much to report. Let's go to the advanced decline line. 77% advancing, 19% declining, 4% just kind of going sideways. We got an 80-20 going on when it comes to above below the 50-day moving average. And based on what we saw over the last couple of months in these markets, I imagine the major majority of stocks, stocks should be outperforming their last three months. Let's jump into the charts and go straight to the SPY. What I am talking about when it comes to uh, range is right up in this area here. So we had a pretty sizable move to the downside and I had a, a slew of emails saying, what was that? What was all that about? Because it came pretty hard, it came fast. Take a look at the uh, volume that was associated, uh, associated with it as well. It was pretty aggressive, but it's just a round of profit taking. What I really want you guys to focus on is where we ended up when it comes to the range. We are still above the 468 mark we'll call it that wherever you want to go with that um, or whatever area or whatever number you want to call it but more importantly look how far above the 20-day moving average we are we are still way above this this is a, a hiccup this is not a sell-off this is just a little bit of a uh, you know a round of profit taking before we move closer towards the end of the year so my call and it's pretty easy to do because I only got a few days left to make this call is I imagine based on how we uh, really fell apart from yesterday's high, that we stay somewhere within this 476 to 468 range throughout the end of the year. I could be wrong. 
with some sort of catalyst. Maybe we break above that. Maybe we have a little bit of a Santa Claus rally that pushes us higher. But to move to the downside for you bears out there, it's just not going to happen. So please do not add bearish trades. If you want to get out of bulls, totally fine with that. But adding bearish trades just doesn't make uh, any sort of sense uh, or give sort of an advantage here. Let's take a look at the cues, and you're going to see it's going to be the exact same thing, just a little bit different. Where in this case, we have the exact same candlestick. It does give us a little bit of a range, but it's a little bit higher. It's a little bit tighter. Uh, 404, 402, 403 and a half, whatever we would call it, that's fine. But we are well above that 20-day uh, moving average. You can see at 395 is where this would have to go before we even threaten a support level, before this becomes bearish or at least some sort of even a pullback or corrective action so we are still way up still bullish um i take the last two candles uh, into consideration when it comes to maybe a consolidation area or i call it a plateau and that's about all i can give these markets past that guys we are just going to continue sideways to slightly up taking a look at the heat map it absolutely agrees there are very very few red things in here it took a you got to look in here and find one or two or three reds when it comes to the 500 uh, top stocks in these sectors. So where am I at? It's pretty obvious. I'm going to stay with my plus one. I'm going to be a plus three. The plus one is because we are back up in a range or once again creating a plateau. By no means is this a sell signal up here, guys, at all. So make sure that you don't abandon anything based on your being skittish. Now, if you hit targets or you find that you're fine when your profit percentages come in, I'm fine with that. Go ahead and follow your rules accordingly but when it comes to the markets are falling apart this is the top you're you're, you're going to be wrong i'm just going to say it right now so let's just wait till the end of the year that leads me to my potential trades guys and as i get closer to the end the end of the year so do my trades i'm not actively scanning there's nothing out there that i'm willing to throw a rock at take a look at my bears this is the second time i've done this i i know i did this class on tuesday and tuesday of last week but my potential bears have been non-existent if any and the reason being is because every one of my bears maybe you guys are seeing this as, as as i am are bouncing they're moving higher they're not falling so i'm not going to throw rocks towards the bear side i'm just going to stay with the bulls that i have or move to some sideways and uh, maybe one or two little sideways to bull stocks as we get towards the end of the year so let's get into that this is nrg we talked about this over the last little bit at least i have with you if you guys have been following along I do like this area here, this ascending triangle pattern. I'm gonna to try to box it. it. Looks like I got a little higher than that. But what's interesting about it is it just seems to move higher and higher and higher. We went from, oh geez, the 49 to the 50 and it's just continuing to chop around. It had a hard time breaking above it the first time I talked about it back here, the beginning of this month. But that's what the diagonal's for and it seems to just be continuing to do so. So the diagonal spread has been working. If you guys wanna jump on board with that, be my guest because it's it's a pretty good uh, trade for that. If not, just let it subside and we'll move on to something else. So let's go to the sideways trades. I've been showing you guys the BEKE for a while. So I said, why don't I show them something different? It's about time. This is Monster. Uh, this is one that uh, necessarily wasn't on my watch list, but it did come from these classes. I believe it was either Rob's or Corey's, but I just love this range. And it's, it's a wide one. I could draw this a little shorter or a little tighter if you'd like. Let me go a little bit inside and go to something a little bit more recent. So anywhere between the you know 54 and a half to the 57 might be pretty cool. A little wider would be 58 to 53 and a half. That's fine. Um, it, condors are really cool here. Butterflies, if you want to target something right around that 55 level, um, that works as well. But it just depends on what you're looking for based on the time that is left in these markets. So overall, guys, I just, I'm not that active. I won't be that active until the beginning of next year. And even then, it's going to take a week or so before I really start to load up on my portfolio. But the markets could plateau until the end of the year. Yesterday's move to the downside was seriously just a flush out. It was basically, hey, I got to take some profits here, put it somewhere else. It's institutional money. Uh, volume's going to get lighter. So you get these volume spikes that you guys saw in those charts. It's because there's just not a lot of people participating right now on average. And it's going to get lower as we get closer through into and through the holidays. So 
There will still be movement in stocks, but very difficult to into which one and why. I have a lot of traders that say there's this ABC stock that came out of nowhere. You'll take a look at biggest losers and gainers. You're going to see a stock that made 140% in six hours. It's just speculative trading. That's what you're going to see. There's not going to be anything that's really going to break the bank here. I think everything that has found their happy pace, place excuse me, will stay there. Anything that's plateaued, uh, uh, Amazon's a great example. Um, NVIDIA is a great example. They've just gone up and they've just, they're have just they happy where they're at. They're not going to break out into new highs or just kind of sustaining. So to try to find these stocks is seriously just guessing and throwing darts. So don't anticipate anything bearish in January as well. Understand, I'm going to jump down to the economic reports. Jobless claims, GDP revision slightly lower, giving the, the Fed a complete green flag to stay keeping interest rates lower and even lowering interest rates into next year. Well, that could be the beginning of next year. It could be the end of next year. But hey, lowering interest rates is because the economy is doing what they want, showing some slowing actually should stimulate uh, people to go out and buy some stuff. Jobless claims are slowing down. We do have durable goods orders and PCE both out tomorrow. Tomorrow's a Friday. I never use Fridays to dictate how I trade. It's usually over the weekend and then into Monday and Tuesday that I actually place my orders or balance my portfolio. Check potential trades for earnings as always and just make sure that you're aware of what's going on out there. Thanks for joining me, guys. It is going into a holiday weekend. I will not talk to you till probably the end of the year. So happy new year, happy holidays, whatever you guys celebrate. It's been a good one. I'm looking forward to 2024. Thanks, folks. Talk to you next time.